<laughs> Who better, right? <laughs> Over there at the desk. Yeah. Well, come in. And yes, uh, thank you. Uh, just be here for a few minutes. Yeah. Good morning. Sir. How are you? Oh, thank you for your great hospitality to my wife. <laughs> well, I, I won't get too close to you. Let's see. Let's see. We will be in here in how many? Uh, there's so many. I like to see you. Thank you. Where your picture gets taken. I saw you with keen interest during the press interview. I tried. I tried what I was trying to do. I used to not being able to tell everybody. Yeah. Yeah. The three people in the general vicinity of where we're coming from. Well, I can tell you that I'm very pleased, and we all are, uh, with the meetings that we've had with Prime Minister Willock. Norway and the United States enjoy close ties that long predate our alliance, and it's always a happy occasion when we find a friend like Prime Minister Willock paying us a visit. Our discussions today come at a critical time for our alliance, a time when it's more important than ever for freedom-loving people on both sides of the Atlantic to reaffirm their shared security interests. 
For our part, I assure the Prime Minister of the firm American commitment to the preservation of peace and freedom and of our continuing efforts in coordination with our allies in the North Atlantic community to achieve reductions in the military arsenals of both the East and the West. The Prime Minister and I also discussed general NATO security issues and the importance of Norwegian energy supplies to the West. Our talks on all of these matters were positive and upbeat, as was our discussion of the international economic issues. I'm deeply impressed that in these challenging times, Norway and the United States, two longtime friends, continue to have strong commonality of interests. I hope the Prime Minister will have found the visit as useful as I did, and I look forward to maintaining a close and friendly relationship that is traditional between the leaders of our people and our two countries. Mr. Prime Minister, it's been good to have you here. Thank you. Right. Uh, Mr. President, I would first like to thank you for your gracious words. Uh, my visit to Washington, my discussions with a number of American leaders, and of uh, course, in particular, the meeting with you, Mr. President, today, has indeed been very, very useful to us. And I would like to add that we feel here, as we felt in Minnesota earlier this week, how close our two nations are. I have had the opportunity to present uh, Norwegian views on a number of problems facing us uh, today. The most important current issue is the question of disarmament and arms control, and in particular, the Geneva negotiations. The Western goal remains clear. We want to reach a balance of forces in Europe with as few nuclear weapons as possible. And the zero option with no intermediate nuclear weapons on either side is the optimum outcome. We know that the US will make all possible efforts to get an agreement with the Soviet Union as close to this optimum as possible. And to achieve this, it is of the utmost importance that the Allies stand united. We also had the opportunity to discuss a number of other issues. As the President mentioned, we discussed, among other issues, the economic outlook and the possibilities for improved international cooperation to achieve a revival of our economies and a reduction of unemployment. Mr. President, I wish to thank you once again wholeheartedly for your kindness and for all the useful discussions we have had. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Agreement today on the paper, sir, turning them over or not? 